welcome back to Saxcast Breaking Down the Rift Part 7. Okay, this is going to be a slightly tricky one, but do not be off put because we're going to take it at a tempo to suit you guys. If you would like to, as usual, as I've said on the last couple of videos, um, stop it after I've played this and see if you can work it out without my help, that's even better. And then watch the steps and then the cheat at the end. That'd be fab. So here's the riff again, a little bit slower. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at this. We're gonna be thinking about A minor pentatonic. So if you can already play that scale, go for it now. Otherwise I'll help you through. So we need in the notes A, C, D, E, G, A. If you wanna do that whole register all the way through to the top and all the way down to the bottom, that'd be great. Um, and then we're gonna go through step by step. If you've been watching um, the previous one, number six and number five, uh, please reference back if you want to do that and like and subscribe as ever. Uh, comments really helpful. Um, then the other two were kind of giving you pentatonic plus, so to speak, so with some added chromaticism. So the chromatic scale is going to come in handy for our first couple of notes. So here's the pentatonic again, and then I'm going to give you the start note for this phrase. So here's the pentatonic. <laughs> And here's your start note for the sort of first section. We're going to break this down into three sections. Here's section one. As your start note. Hopefully you can figure that out. It's an E, okay, with the octave key on. So that's the first bit. And here's the little tune. As per number six, it's just a little fragment of chromatic scale. Um, so if you're unsure, that's E going to F, going to F sharp, going to G. So that's your first four notes if you want to play along at home. That's that bit in the bag. Part two is uh, purely pentatonic, so I'm going to play that bit for you, see if you can work out the start note. Here's your pentatonic again. So hopefully you can figure out the start note is a C. And then here's the little section two we're going to look at. Play it again for you. So hopefully you can hear it's going up and then back down. And that's all it is, really. So if you know the pentatonic scale we've just used, you're going to go C, D, E. D, C, A. So obviously octave thumb going on for the D and the E. So let's play that bit. Also a little top tip here. If you feel that there is a lot of notes in this one, write them down as you work them out. That's exactly how I do my transcribing. It's a notepad and paper. And then I can rub out and go, no, that, right, that note's not right. Or yes, that note is great. And then I can play it again and, and work on that. So that's the next chunk is C, D, E, D, C, A. So that's section two. And then the last section is this. And hopefully you can hear that's all descending. And here's your start note for section three. Here's your pentatonic. Here's your note again. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that's all going down apart from one note at the end which isn't part of the pentatonic so we're going to go d going down to c going down to a going down to g but then we've got an f sharp which allows us to sort of step out of that pentatonic vibe so that's part three so all together we've got and that's it the reason why it sounds quite cool is because it's rhythmically driven. Da 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 da. There's no kind of um, held notes or syncopation. It's just kind of like a mechanical speed funk thing. Okay. So what we're going to do first of all is um, not look at the YouTube. That will come in a little bit where we can um, change the speed to help you. But I'm going to put this groove into uh, my little app and you'll be wanting an A minor chord if you're going to do something like this at home. So here's the groove, and this is set at crotchet equals 60, which is Bob Reynolds kind of like, let's do it nice and steady mantra. So here's the groove. So we're gonna be going really 
nice and steady and and if that's too slow we can go even slower if you want but that's preference okay so i'll try it first and then hopefully you can have a go at home and then we'll go together all right is hop on to YouTube and slow it down, which I'm not sure if you're aware of it. I only learned about this in the last couple of months, but if you click on the three dots in the corner, it will give you playback speeds, and then you can slow it down to 75%, 50%. Any slower than that, it tends to sound just really awkward and painful. But the great thing is it doesn't change the pitch. So um, if, if that's useful for anything else you might be looking at on YouTube that might be still a little bit technically difficult for your fingers, if it's something with music that's written out, or it's something that you're trying to transcribe, it's a really useful thing to be doing. There it is. If you could click on the three dots and then click on playback speed, that will then give you these different settings. So if you want to speed it up, you could do that as well, but I wouldn't for this. So we're going to go at 50% to start with. <laughs> actually um, a riff that happens in full repeats so we go da 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 which is a bit that I've taught you second time da 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 and then da 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 so there's a little bit of extra work you can maybe have a think about working those couple of notes out then the third time it's exactly the same and then the fourth time, apart from playing the low C, there's some held notes. So again, if you can think you can work that out, that would be really great for your ears. So we're going to now go at 75. If you think this is too fast, just stick at 50 um, and you can do that at home. That's fine. <laughs> particularly crazy <laughs> then you can go full speed now my fingers have got round this on alto and this is the interesting thing for me to be doing videos for you on alto and tenor is the crossing over between both instruments where it's different fingerings <laughs> okay so go check that out hopefully you enjoyed that it gave me a little bit of a Oh, finger doings going on and uh, as ever guys thank you so much if this one was a little bit tricky i'm really sorry but i just had to throw this one for a little bit of fun and um, so as ever if you can give us a like and a comment and obviously hit that bell that would be fantastic and hopefully see you next time on satscats breaking down the riff and in the meantime guys happy saxing bye <laughs>